out, everybody. It's your boy, John Vigan Beer here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Saga Log. My silly butt didn't increase the uh, volume again because I basically, I was watching some year lock, getting some stuff situated for that. So while I was grinding, I decided, you know what, might as well just turn down the audio so I can pay attention to what I have to pay attention to within the year lock. But today of all days, we have to take on a cold freezing storage unit and you know what it, it's okay we'll, we'll, we'll live with it you know it's 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 something that you know people have to do in real life anyways so it's like whatever like i couldn't do that okay we have totally with hydration storm throw close combat fusion bolt cut try with aqua tail be create spatial red and dragon dance we have Brittany with surf swift aqua jet and fly we have hercules with a bite fury attack payback embargo we have stone edge smackdown aqua jet and stealth rock on kaiba boy and we have joy's dad with bullet seed toxic leech seed dark void with hoarding the amulet coin um i don't know why i gave it the amulet coin and then like the more that it's had that item the more i'm like yeah no because joy's dad scared the living heck out of me in the last episode because there was multiple opportunities where joy's dad could have died and i just was like nope nope now you're going to the back party you know what i'm sorry but i, I want you to stay alive <laughs> you being alive is important so um i swear did i not oh we i'm thinking of something else i think okay i don't have anything okay never mind i don't have what i thought i had okay I thought I had something really, really good. I, I don't have the really, really good thing. Um, really big sad. I don't even know why I thought I had the leftovers, but it's totally okay because we are going to the cold storage and, and Jonas is right there with us. Okay. Da, 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 da. Okay. But yeah, can we, can we just walk in, please? Thank you. So. Cold storage. It's an ice puzzle area. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna fail miserably. But no, honestly, this ice puzzle is not <laughs> bad at all. It's like, oh, th th this was an ice puzzle. Okay. It's kind of how that f this area feels after a while. Also, the Draco place for Troy is right there. Okay. Also, I believe that. Mo oh wait, no, no, no. I just saw that this could do. You could skip past. Okay. I'm like trying to skip past as many trainers as possible because here's my thought process and here is my thing. Level 35 is the next gym. Um, if this rounds down, if it rounds up, it's 36. So I want to be as prepared as possible for some inevitabilities. And if I can stay prepared and do my part to make sure that everything's okay, we should be solid and fine. Naturally, the one time I don't have Joy's dad up in the front is the one time I need Joy's dad to be in the front. So that's great and all, but um, yes, yeah, so I'm trying to get the team around level 35 when I enter the gym. I don't see us doing that today. Holy cow! Like, okay, what do you guys think about Tweedledee? Like, how how Tweedledee is definitely weakest link completely weakest link like yeah oh my god it's getting crits all the time they're guaranteed guys it's, it's fine um it's actually not special um but i don't know how i feel about twiddle like twiddle is a very weird pokemon it, it definitely is one of those pokemon that get absolutely destroyed by the fact that the randomizer is active but also it being existent and doing its thing it's just like and eh, what is it gonna do how is it gonna perform it's kind of like when you have a smirical on the team and you're like Let's go, Smeargle. You can do it, Smeargle. Do all you can. And this is like, okay, hi, Smeargle. Um, you're silly. It's kind of like, almost, you know, it's kind of like in Soul Link. So, you know, in Soul Link, when uh, we had, I was going to say Deborah, Sarah. Uh, it's kind of like that kind of story arc. It's like, okay, Sarah, you do your thing. You got this girl. And it's like, that's kind of how I feel about Tweedledee. It's like, you got this. I think it actually is a female too. So it's like, it's like you got this Tweedledee. You got this girl, and it's just like, yep. I, I really hope you do. I really hope you got this. Like, and it's not like Tweedledee is bad. It's just it's attacks at a sixty with nothing to support it. Like, it, it it's typing is what it supports it. But other than it's typing, it's just like uh uh uh. And it, also the other thing, another thing I could have had Joyce Dad out on. 
Why would I switch out if Joy's dad put Joy's dad in the back? We're getting Pokemon that Joy's dad handles. Blah. Uh, okay. I mean, I guess Troy handles it just fine, too. Like, and this is the weird part about our team, right? Our team is so... Structured is how I can put it. Like, each person has something to deal with. Oh, my gosh. If you if you actually both switch into something that's, like, an ice type, I'm going to be triggered. You don't know how triggered I'll be if you send out a nice type. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll switch into that. That's fine. That that I'll live with. Aqua Tail. Go. Uh, destroy. 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 Oh my god. I don't know why I made that joke, but it's fine. I, I definitely... That was, that was, that was a joke that really needed to be made, apparently. Yeah. Um. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, y'all. It's, it's gonna be a day. We're gonna have a day. It's gonna be, it's, it's just gonna be a day, okay? And yes, you're seeing this. It's a same day recording session. But yeah, no, it, it just, it just, that just happened and we're gonna go with it. I definitely had an interesting day um, yesterday and then it resulted in interesting dreams the other today and then now I woke up and I'm like whoa brain chillax a doodle you know you, you can you can you can think about what you're doing and why you're doing what you're doing I want to fight this dude I, I just I'm like I want to avoid trainers and then I then literally five minutes later I want to fight these dudes <laughs> okay you do you also, we have a team of four dudes and two girls. Brittany is about to be the only girl, I swear. If Brittany ends up being the only female at some point in this series, it's going to make me laugh because I I could totally see it. It's like, I could totally see Twiddledee like dying somehow. And then, oh, well, we're adding Triton to the team. And then Brittany is the only female. And then it's like, oh, well, okay. Um, also, really? Now you're going to send me stuff that's, like, neutral and scary against Joy's dad? Ugh. Okay. Like, okay, the, the, the game is being smart. It's not letting me just be... Detect again, please. Please be stupid and detect again. Oh, my gosh. Okay, that did nothing, but the AI is being too smart for its own good, okay? The AI just pulled off a double detect... Into a Sacred Sword, which is about to go into another Detect, so I might as well switch out and not waste, like, all the PP on Primate, on a Nick, um, which a lot of people actually want Nick to be on the team, because I think I have a Nick, and honestly, if Twiddledee dies, Nick also might be on the team. Like, there, a lot, of, like, people said, we want Nick on the team, and I was like, mm, no. Mm, I got different plans. I'm adding my dog. <laughs> I'm adding Doggo to the team. Um, <laughs> like, I totally just skeeted those plans. But no, honestly, Nick is going to be a good Pokemon, and I hope we can utilize Nick very well. Um, because we could evolve Nick, and so that's part of the reason why they wanted it, right? It's like, okay, Nick, we, Nick would be able to evolve. Y'all be chill. But I needed a dark type. I or slash wanted a dark type because I needed to take care of psychic type Pokemon and wanted to make sure that they were not a problem. Because I could have totally seen a situation in which they were an issue. And so yeah, so helmet with with helmet being killed, with Dak on me dead, with adding a dark type. Honestly, I, I think there's a couple options, but it depends on who dies. Like, and that's the fun part about the series, is like trying to figure out and determine. Hey, what am I going to add to the team if this Pokemon dies? Because any time, anything is subject to be dead. Every 10 episodes, y'all get to kill whatever you want to. And that is the fun part, right? Y'all getting to kill what you guys want to means that I have to prepare for every possibility. Because I will never know what things could be, um, could happen. Also, actually... That's another scope lens. And you know what's supported with the scope lens? Joy's dad. Because Bullet Seed 
Then each bullet seed will have a 12% chance to crit. So, instead of four. So, it drastically raises that. So, that would be good. Also, what, what, what item is Brittany holding? A bright powder. Oh, yeah. I want to keep that. Um... But then in all reality, what is Troy holding a scope? Ah, I'm going to give Hercules the amulet coin. You know what? So that way we have an amulet coin. So if we use Hercules, we actually get the ability to get more money. But like technically speaking, should I be using my amulet coin on uh, b -b 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 Brittany? Yeah, because bright powder over am amulet coin is better than bright powder. But I don't want to. I, I like bright powder as an item. And it's, it's actually... Fun fact, one of my favorite items, which is why I'm so hesitant to remove it, because when you like an item, it's just like, yes, go girl, go Brittany, you do this, you, you, you're you slaying Brittany, and it's just like, okay. Even though it's not the smarter option. Oh, is someone in there? Well, I don't know. How, how am I going to know if somebody's in there if I haven't gone in there yet? Jonas, you're smarter than this. Oh, wow, there's a lot of people in here. I mean, technically, the door being open kind of shows that, hey, there's somebody in there more than likely, but, um, yeah. Like, how is I supposed to know if somebody's in there if we don't know who's in there? Like, the, like I said, the door is open is the only indicator that somebody may be in there. Watch us get a crit. Come on, Joy's Dad. Get a crit bullet seed. Get a crit bullet seed. Get a crit. Get a crit. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. This is the perfect mod to do it on. Let's go. Okay, Crooked Isle is honestly one of my favorite dark types, if not my favorite dark type, y'all. Like, just saying, it actually is bending. Oh, yo, you have beat up too. We're going with the same. That's a good. That's fun. That's awesome. Um. Also, you know what I need? Actually, a King's Rock. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Grant was not needed. It's still murdered into. Let's go. Dude, imagine if we found a choice band for Joy's dad. Well, actually, that wouldn't work because I would completely defeat the purpose of the strategy. Never mind. Also, that's a man time. That's a problem. Um, Kaiba Boy, get out here. These water flying types are my issue. So if I ever run into my mascot, Gyarados, if I run into Mantine, who's a thick boy, if I run into Swanas. That is actually my problem on the team because I don't have any electric supplementary Pokemon. So, like, this Pokemon's faster, or us, or a faster, so this should not be as big of an issue. But, like, Swana and Pokemon that are, like, big issue, that big ticket, big fast mons, I'm like, oh, you're too fast and you're a water type, it's a bad. Like, uh, yeah. So, I'm hoping that I don't run into that. But we all know at some point I will run into something that's super detrimental. To the team, and I'm like, oh no, oh no, I can't do anything. Boo -hoo. Like, I'm prepping to die. Like, that's kind of what's happening. I'm like, when, when, when is the very, very tough stuff gonna happen? Probably clay, because well, it's clay. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta get prepped for that eventuality. Oh, that's a bug type. What am I doing? Tro uh, Kaiba Boy. See, okay, Kaiba Boy is actually being utilized, and it's kind of scary how much I, I gave him so much flack for not being usable. And now he's becoming usable and needed. And I don't like that I'm relying on a Kabutox switching in and doing things. Like, maybe I should just give the amulet coin to Kabutox because he's been in a lot of fights recently. And especially over this stretch of episodes, has been utilized and has done so much good work for us. Oh, I hate to say that, but that's like actually true. Like, I actually might need to do that. Oh, no. Also, this is a gang fight. There's five of them that I have to fight. So it's just like, okay. And they all have one Pokemon. Actually, would you rather have an important trainer that has six Pokemon? So one trainer with six Pokemon or five trainers with six Pokemon. So you're fighting the same amount of Pokemon, getting the same amount of experience, right? So that, that is a thing that's happening. You're getting the same amount of experience. But it's just in one battle versus six battles. Also, we got it! I just saw that! We got the crit! We got a double! Let's go! Yes, Joyce Dad! Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Woohoo! I might be too hype over Joyce Dad, but I I'm using a carnivine, y'all! It's a carnivine! You cannot you cannot tell me that that is a 
super broken, busted Pokemon. It's a Carnivine. It is a Carnivine. That Pokemon is considered so bad, and we're using it effectively. And it makes me happy. Right, because Carnivine gets overlooked in most circumstances, and I'm just like, Carnivine, you're on the team now, buddy, and you gotta do the work, you gotta put it in there, and you can do it. <laughs> and it's just like, for a Pokemon that's so underrated to perform so well, that, like, like I said, that makes Nuzlocke's. That's what makes a Nuzlocke what it is, right? Underperforming Pokemon that Pokemon are so overlooked, that the people just are like, oh my god, I got a Carnivine. It's so bad. Uh, it's like, oh, Carnivine, hi, you're never like used very much. And so when that happens, and when a good Pokemon or a Pokemon that gets considered bad gets validated, it, it, th that is what warms the soul. That is what makes a Nuzlocke what it is. That is what makes Sogalock what it is. We've had a couple of these mons that people would be like, Ew, well, we got that Pokemon, and I'm just like, we got that Pokemon, let's, you go, we got this, and, like, the Dredagon, underrated dragon type that people are just like, Ugh. it's just a Dredagon, and I'm like, oh, hi, Dredagon, and then I named it Troy to make it that much better for me, <laughs> and then, like, and then we have Brittany, who I love Milotic, Milotic is one of my favorite Pokemon, um, so, and again, it's another Pokemon that is underrated. People don't really care about. We are the team of underrated Pokemon. Mighty Yenna, freaking Dratagon, freaking, like, we are the, the only Pokemon that is actually higher rated. <laughs> it's funny enough, the Pokemon I don't really like, Kabutops. Um, like, because Tweedledee, well, actually, and Tweedledee. Kabutops and Tweedledee are actually the higher rated Pokemon or the Pokemon that people enjoy using more than the rest of the team. But yet, the, my least favorite are the more competitive Pokemon. Now, mind you, again, I've talked about Tweedledee and the fact that Tweedledee doesn't have pure power and that wrecks it a lot. So, yes. But, still, I think even with pure power, I'd be like, eh. So, it's just funny to me that, you know, the Pokemon that I like the most are the underrated ones. Like, Honestly, deep sea scale. Ha <laughs> ha. That's speaking of underrated Pokemon. Wait, yeah, that was the scale, so it would be Gorbis. Gorbis is another one of those underrated Pokemon. If I had a Gorbis, y'all better watch out. I may be making like it would be way. It might, I might be having way too fun with that. So, yeah, I'm actually super excited with how everything's turning out and where this series is going, and I'm. Hoping you guys are liking where it's, the train is going as well, because honestly, this is a really good station, and I, I've been having a lot of fun with kind of seeing everybody's perspective and what people like and what they don't like, and I don't even know. I think we actually are at a point where we can end the episode. If not, we're taking on the gym. We're taking on the gym. We're not... We're, we, dang. Okay. Well, we're not taking on the gym leader. We're probably going to do the same thing we did in uh, Other City. Where we take on the gym and take on things in the gym, but not take on the gym itself. That I can see, because we're... Level-wise... We'll have level 34s. We'll have Joy's dad and Troy both at level 34, so we'll be fine there. I'm gonna actually buy some super potions, though, because I'm gonna be smart about this. Because super potions... I'm, I carry the super potions with me as healing. Um, like, things that get me to be able to heal. Um on my treks so that way i'm like okay we got a 50 50 super potions so i'm not wasting hyper potions because i don't like wasting hyper potions that actually triggers me so much when people do that and like honestly you'll see it in many instances i'm like i don't want to waste the hyper potion it's a hyper potion it's supposed to be for battle not supposed to be for carrying around with you Ray! and it's like uh, yeah <laughs> so that's exactly kind of how i feel i know what i feel about that right like Carry Super Potions, use those as your healing. Carry Lemonade, use those as your healing later in the game. Because if you're not going to get chunked down that far, then you're fine. Like, obviously, like, Hyper Potions, I I was very welcome to the change of Hyper Potions being 120 HP healing. Except for the fact that they didn't, I don't think they changed the price. I think it's still $1,200, and it's just like, what the flub-a-nickel? Like, why? Oh, what did they do? 
It's like twelve hundred dollars is a lot for one hundred and twenty base power and healing. Um. Okay, so this is another one of those you have to fight these trainers, which I I I love gyms that force you to fight some of their trainers. At least if if, if a gym forces you to fight sixty percent or more of the trainers, I'm happy. When you're not a, when you don't have to fight any trainers and you just walk up to the gym, it's just like then what's the point of these trainers being here? That's you're so, so slow about. That's like that's what my take on it is. Like, what's the point of me doing this if I don't actually have to do this? Um, like that's part of the reason why first gyms are my least favorite personally because a lot of the times you just don't have to do what you're needing to do, and it's just like okay, like that's that's fine I guess. Yeah, Joy's dad, level 34. Yeah, that's kind of what I expected. And Buizel. We have been seeing, we saw a lot of those, actually, during grinding and doing all that. It's like, oh, hi, Buizel. Hi, random Pokemon that I'm just like, bruh, why are you here? Like, I, I, I was trying not so hard. Because I'm like, if I get a shiny, I like, I want to get into a grass where I like most of the possibilities, right? For when I eventually get a shiny. Because I haven't in this series yet. And I, I'm waiting for it because it's going to be soon. I, I can feel it um, being soon oh i did it wrong i got penalized for my mistakes it's fine actually though because we're still training and getting more stuff done which means that there is going to be less of it there's definitely not going to be a another gym oh do i i that is a super scary mon for me to fight. I'm not testing Joy's dad's speed tier. I, I, I really just can't. For, oh yeah, 41 speed. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, no, we aren't testing that speed tier. We're going to go right into Kaiba Boy. It makes... That move makes sense. Um, to me. Because Kaiba Boy is going to be faster or should be faster. I thought that was Water Spout. Thank God I saw the R. Because, um, yeah, Kaiba Boy is going to be faster. As long as Kaiba Boy hits this, we're fine. And we're chill. We don't have to worry. So, plus we can get other Pokemon leveled up and trained up. Let, let's go. That's another crit. Good job. You did your job. <laughs> you did what you are supposed to. Oh, hi, Golbat. Yeah, you're going to be level 34 too. Jeez. I <laughs> If you were to tell me that Kaiba Boy and Joy's dad were going to be the aces of the team, I would have told you, y'all lying. Y'all lying. There's no way that Kaiba Boy and Joy's dad are going to be the aces of the team. Like, no, nope, no way. You're, you're, you're totally wrong. And I, I would have slandered, but no. That's actually the truth right now. And that's like a whole, that's funny to me. Like, I, okay, so I knew that Hercules was not going to be a, a Pokemon that was utilized very much. Like, Hercules was added four purely Psychic types. Like, that is your job. That is, you're going to be training with me most of the time and off-screen grinding. But your job is Psychic type and Psychic project or protection, right? Like, that is your, that is your department. Um, live it up. Do what you need to do. Also, that's another thing that freaking Kaiba Boy takes care of. Hi. Um, no, I'm going to I'm gonna use Brittany for this. Brittany gets to take care of a hoo-ho. Hi, 50K. How are you? Hopefully, you're having fun. You're still going to be the... You're going to be like the most popular video on my channel forever. Oh, my gosh. No, you're dead. <sighs> just like the, the video. No, I was going to say just like the channel. Dang. Um, that's definitely not true. Um... Going further in the depth. Do I... Is it this one? Yeah, it is. It is! We got it! This is the final trainer. And the final thing of today is episode. Because that... Yeah, perfect timing us. Let's go! Uh, what do you have? Your Pokemon is going to be a Belossum. Belossum is pretty cute. Cute. Although Belossum is pretty also scary. Not really, because I I say it's scary and then I'm like, oh, we got Troy, it's fine. It's literally like, again, the four Pokemon. Which one of the four is going to handle X-Thread? 
And I would like to have a fire type on the team, but I don't see that actually happening. I truly don't. But V Create is going to bust open this Bell Awesome. And then we're going to end the episode. So hopefully you guys had a wonderful day today. I had a wonderful day myself. Um, and we will see you guys on Friday um, for the fourth episode of the week to make up for the fact that I missed last Friday. And we will see you guys then. If you guys liked it, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as always. And we will see you then. Bye. This is taking forever. Hasta luego.